professor in chemical and biomolecular engineering here at Rice University, and my lab focuses on polymer science. What we're working on here is trying to make solar cells that are printable, paintable, and flexible. And this is one device that we made here. This is made using organic materials. It's an example of an organic photovoltaic device. And so this very thin kind of red layer that's painted on this surface, on this plastic flexible surface, is the photovoltaic device. So the challenge with these materials is um, that even though they may look very flexible, in fact, most of the materials that are used in these types of devices, they tend to crack and fail once you flex them like this, or especially if you stretch and bend and roll them. Um, and this is another example of something you might want to make of a photovoltaic device on just a very light, flexible substrate. If you can fabricate solar cells on a surface like this or like this, you can almost put them anywhere. You can put them on buildings, on windows, on clothes, and so that'll really give you access to solar energy wherever you want it in a lightweight, portable device. This class of materials, which are polymers that actually conduct electricity and generate and separate charges, you know, that seemed very exciting to me from the idea of combining the properties of polymers, which are typically thought of as low cost, kind of cheap materials, and generally they are, but with some very advanced electronic applications, whether it's solar cells or sensors or transistors. I think this combination of properties is really exciting. And the idea that we can replace a lot of the hard and metallic materials around us with flexible, paintable plastics, I think that's an exciting idea and really opens up a lot of new technologies and new directions. Yeah.